No, I think it's perfect. I don't like it. Why not? You've got neighbours on either sides, so close. It doesn't feel like a country block. It feels like it's a, a block a, it's a hundred grander. What are you going to... You're not going to get anything better for a hundred grand. It's big for a hundred grand. Meet Jess and Ella, just it's starting just out in their search for the perfect block of land to build their the dream house on. If they can agree on what that is, of course. Neighbours and things, you can block all that out. That's, you can think about that later. you just got to think about the block as it is. He's been mad about building since he was a kid, and she's studying architecture, so they don't always see eye to eye. But one thing they agree on is that they want to get it right. So they're off to see Gareth Cole, one of Australia's leading authorities on eco-lifestyle. Yeah, so we were thinking about designing an eco house, but we were a bit concerned about the money. We've always thought it was a bit expensive. Probably the most important thing to think about is the word eco, what it stands for. ECO is the beginning of ecological, it's also the beginning of economical. So my attitude is that if you can't build an ecological building that's economical, we've failed in the first place. Because we found a block of land in Blackheath, but it's got trees, huge pine trees on the surrounding blocks, the neighbours blocks, and a few on the actual block itself where we want to build the house. So we're not sure about where the sunlight's going to come in or... OK, so what we need to look at is, let, let's take the block of land like, like this and say that true north is straight up the block. Mm -hmm. And what we have to do, and most people don't do this, is let's work out at a centre point of the block, work out, say, 45 degrees at those points there, and let's say that's where the winter sunrise is and where winter sunset is. Mm -hmm. So I'm only looking at that range in there for getting the sun into the building. In fact, summer sun rises there and sets over here, and we don't want that early morning eastern sun, or we don't want the late afternoon western sun. So if you've got trees on the east and west of your block, mm -hmm. on the neighbouring blocks, yep. that's absolutely perfect. Yeah, but we yeah. have trees all around the block. <laughs> it's all right. Avoid, avoid yeah. the block then. Okay. Dad would so much for the land. In, in but Jess and Ella are also so looking for house ideas, his... so Gareth's showing them one he's designed using eco-friendly so principles, something they're both keen on. The new extension. So you just use regular fibreglass bats? Regular fibreglass bats that you buy at any hardware store, fixed in between the studs. That, combined with the aerated concrete, screw fixed to the outside of the steel frame, gives us a fantastic thermal resistance. So why don't we go outside and see what the aerated concrete looks like in the finished state on the outside. Now what we're looking at here is the aerated concrete walls that we've used on the outside, which is made of a, a, a series of panels. As you can see from this little sample here, just have a lift of that and see how light that is to lift. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. And all it is is these panels uh, fixed, fixed to the wall and then we render it to give it the, the aesthetic appeal that we want. But this is the best acoustic rating we can get, the best thermal rating we can get and great for bushfires. So one of the other important things we need to think about in putting the building together for the eco checklist is to put in a water tank. Now a water tank like this is going to save you all the water that comes off the roof saved into our water tanks and we can use them in our house. We already pay for our water. So why not put the money into putting in a tank and save the water before it has to go down and get flushed down the, down the creek? So it's a lot cheaper to use a, to use a tank? Cheaper to put a, put a tank in in the, long, in the long run and you can run everything in your house, all your showers, your, your toilets, uh, all your washing, everything comes with the water tank. So what do you think of Gareth? Oh, I love what he's got to say. And I really think we should use the ideas he's given us. Yeah, I could have been there all day. It was great. But he's trying to steer us away from that block of land, and yeah. I have to agree with him. But that's why the whole time I've been saying, you have to design your house first. No. You need to get your block of land and build the house that suits the block of land. 